Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. Today, in this video, I will show you how to save all the contact 7 form submissions into your database. So let's start with this video tutorial. As we are using contact form 7, so we need to install the plugin first. To do that, hover on to plugins and click on add new. Now in the search box, search for contact form 7 plugin. We need to install this plugin first. So click on install now. We will activate this plugin in a while. Before that to save the database, we need to install one more plugin name, database for contact form 7. This is the plugin we are looking for. So simply click on install now. Let's activate both of these plugins. Once the plugins are installed and activated, you need to add a contact form using the contact form 7 plugin. I have shared the tutorial earlier in which you can see how to create a contact form using contact form 7. Now here, you can see we have already added a contact form 7 to our WordPress website. Come into how to save its database, let's make a test entry first. Entering all the details here. Click on submit now. You can see the success message here. Now let's move back to the contact form 7 window. You can see a database menu nested under contact. Simply click on it. This is the window where you can see save and manage your database or all the contact form 7 submissions. You can see all the details are mentioned here and there is this column name action under which you can edit the details. You can view the complete entry like this. From this button. You can access the table settings, you can set it as per your requirement. You can make your table bordered, enable or disable the title, set the size of the table, make your table scroll or keep it fixed. All the options here are self-explanatory. Once done, simply click on save changes. Under column settings, you can edit the name of the columns like this. Once done, click on save changes. You can see here, the column names have been updated. So this is how you can easily save, view or manage contact form 7 submissions into your database. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your questions. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I've already started working on them. Now to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.